name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own Halloween It's inspired painting. Welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for stopping back by. Um, so today we're going to be working on something super, super fun. But before we get started, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss the next tutorial. So what I decided to do for my Halloween painting this year is I decided to post a poll on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at underscore Picasso baby. It is linked down in the description description and um with the poll that i posted i posted two different pictures and you got to choose which one so i posted a spooky pumpkin picture and i also am, um posted a it inspired painting and of course the fun it painting one so that's what we're going to be working on today we're going to be doing a halloween inspired painting of the movie it um, a few things that we're going to be working with you want to make sure that you have a canvas i'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas you can use the size of your choice you want to make sure that you have some different size acrylic brushes some napkins to dry your brushes off on a water cup and then, of course, your paint. And as always, I am using the colors Titanium White, Bright Red, Mars Black, Burnt Sienna, Phthalo Blue, and Bright Yellow. Or Chrome Yellow, actually. Chrome Yellow. Um, so, before we get started, you also want to make sure that you have a marker or a pencil because we're going to be drawing some things out. So, what I'm going to do right in the middle, I am going to draw a string. So that's just going to be my little string for my balloon. And for my balloon, before I actually draw the balloon, I'm going to do a little triangle on top of it. And then I'm going to create the balloon. So once you have your balloon right in the middle there, now before I actually start its space, I am going to work on um, Georgie because Georgie's going to be in the painting too. So Georgie is going to pretty much take up this bottom half of the canvas. And what I want to do first, I want to draw his hood. And his hood is pretty almost the same shape of the balloon actually. Um, so I'm going to do his hood. And then from there, I'm going to do two lines down at an angle, and then I'm going to pull two lines down, and I'm going to pull a little angled line in, and another little angled line in. And then from there, I want to create his coat. So those are his sleeves. I want to make the coat. So I am just pulling two lines down. I'm gonna cut those off. And then I'm gonna pull down two lines and two more lines for his pants. Now, if you want yours to be lower, if you want yours higher, it's completely up to you. But that is gonna be my little Georgie. And now it's time to work on it. So, for it, I'm gonna add in his eyes first. Um, and it's pretty much gonna be the same thing on each side. So you're just, whatever we do on one, on the right side, you're gonna be copying that on the left side. So the first thing that I wanna do, I wanna get a little, almost like, um, almost like a little bit of an angled line. So it's gonna angle up just a bit. Same thing over here. And remember, you're basing everything off of the balloon. So you wanna make sure the balloon is the middle, almost like it's his nose. that angle line there and underneath there I'm just kind of closing that up so I have both of those there now I also want to do his um, I want to do his eyebrows for his eyebrows it's kind of like it's almost like a Nike check sign um, 
what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take that up. And you can go a little bit further out than the eye. Same thing over here. Remember, we're repeating the steps. And then I'm going to make that shape again. Same thing here. And once you have those shapes in there, now I do want to add in those red lines as well. So the red lines kind of cut through. So I'm going to pull it down and I'm kind of skipping over where it cuts through. So I'm going to skip down to the eye and now and I'm curving it like that. So now that we have those in, before we actually start to paint, I am going to add a couple more details in the eye. So in his eye, of course, he has little eyeballs. So I'm going to repeat that shape on the inside, but only right at the top like you saw there. And I'm going to do that one more time as well. The little one. All right. And now that you have that, it is time to paint. So because it is actually white, I am not going to paint anything um, in the background this time. Now, if you would like to paint anything in the background, like if you wanted to paint it like a black background, you definitely could. It's completely up to you. But because his face is white, I'm going to leave everything white. But what I am going to do around his eye area, I am going to mix on my plate and I'm using a medium round brush. I'm going to mix some white and a little bit of black because I want to make a bit of a lighter gray. I'm going to even add a little bit of blue, just a very small amount of the blue. And again, I want to get a lighter gray. And what I'm going to be doing with this, I'm going to kind of be creating like a bit of a shadow around the eye and kind of around the eyebrow area. So you see how I'm just... Fill it in this section here and you can decide how much or little you want of this is completely up to you and the lines don't have to be super harsh you can definitely like kind of brush them out Like it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just want to get a good amount of it, especially around the eyes. And same thing I did over here. I'm pulling a line from right next to the eyebrow down. just kind of lightly brushing that gray around the eye Again, if it's a little bit harsh for you, add a little bit of white to your brush and just kind of 
brush it or blend it out right now now that we have that before we add anything else to it i do want to let those parts dry so i am going to move down to little georgie now the first thing i want to do is i want to get his um i want to get his jeans filled in he had on blue jeans so i'm switching to a smaller brush and i am gonna mix blue black and a very very small amount of white and once you mix those i'm just gonna start to get his jeans filled in so again i mixed up blue a little bit of black small small amount of white to get his blue jean color And I am going to take a little bit of white on my brush and just kind of add some little lines, like some little highlighted areas on his pants. And once you have that, I'm going to move to a different brush. If you like your smaller brush, you definitely can keep using that. But I'm going to move to a different brush because I am going to go into yellow for his coat. Now, I actually want to get down a bit of a darker yellow first. And I'm going to do that by mixing up some of my um, burnt sienna. So some of my brown, just a little bit of the brown with my yellow. Almost to make it like a deeper yellow or kind of like a golden color almost. I'm just mixing those up right on my plate. And it should give you. And as we're doing this, um, again, because we're working with yellow and yellow is a little more transparent, you will still see your marker lines or even your pencil lines. Um, and that's completely fine because we are going to outline it. So you don't have to worry about covering those lines right now because we're going to end up covering them with black paint anyways. So you don't have to worry too much about covering them. I'm going to let that yellow dry for a bit before I add some um, more on top of it because I also want to give that highlighted areas just like I did the pants. And while that's drying, I'm going to wash this brush off and now I'm going to go into my bloom. Now for my bloom, I am just using straight yellow. I'm, not, I'm sorry, straight red. Now if you want a different color bloom, it's up to you. But Georgie did have a red bloom or rather it had a red bloom form. And I'm just gonna get that filled in completely. Even the little triangle. And again, whatever lines are not covering up, don't worry, we will be able to, um, to add the outline to cover those lines up that we started with. Now, one thing I'm going to do um, to really give this bloom a little more detail, I'm going to take my pointer finger here and I added a little bit of white paint. And you just want a very small amount. So if it's a, a if you feel like it's a lot, wipe some off of your plate. What I'm going to do is add a little highlight on the bloom by just moving my finger around in a circle. And it just adds a little extra detail to your painting. If you don't want that part, you definitely can skip it. It's completely up to you. I just add it for a little extra detail. And I'm going to actually let that first layer dry and I'm going to do that step again. But while that part is drying, now we can go back to Mr. It's. We can go right on back up there to him. So I'm going to go back to my medium round brush. 
I'm going to go back into some of that gray that I was working with. And I'm going to add a little bit of white to it, lighten it up just a bit. And I'm going to add a little bit around the smaller ring. And I'm going to also add some around that middle ring. Once you have that, I want to work on the middle section of his eyes. So I'm going to wash that gray off. And I'm going to actually go into some red. And I'm going to mix a, just a very, very small amount of red and black. So I'm just mixing a really small amount because I want to make like a burgundy. And I am going to get that middle section filled in. And if you cover up some of that gray, don't worry. Um, you want more of the gray at the bottom to show. That gray that was underneath the smaller circle, it's not super, super important, but that gray underneath, um, you do want a, a good amount of that to still show. So I'm doing the same thing over here. dry for a bit but while that is drying what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a little more black into some of that red because now I want to make a deeper burgundy and what I'm gonna do with this I am going to get the clown little scratches on his eyes filled in the little red areas so that line that we did you can take it right through the eyebrow because we're gonna be able to pull the eyebrow on top of that And if you can still see through it a little bit, don't worry. We are going to be layering this part up so you don't have to worry about it too much. But one thing I do is um, when I'm doing this part, I like to flatten my brush a bit starting from the eye. And then when I'm ready to end it, I just lift and pull really quickly so that it comes to that point. So that it has that nice point coming down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, if you can still see your lines or if you can see through the red, don't worry. We're going to be adding more layers to this. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Flatten your brush, pull down, and when you're ready to end it, just pull right on up. We have those areas filled in and while we allow that red to dry because we need to, that to dry before we can do anything else I'm gonna go back down to Georgie's jacket and I am going to add um, a little bit of a lighter yellow on some areas and then I'm also going to add a little bit of brown on some areas so I'm gonna go in with the brown first and I'm gonna go back into my brown and yellow mixture but this time I'm adding more brown into it so that it's not it's an even so that it's an even darker yellow I don't want it to just be like a deep yellow anymore I want it to be even darker almost like a caramel color and I'm gonna put this color especially like on the sleeves kind of wipe it a bit on the bottom of the coat and I'm gonna do a little bit on his hood as well now for lighter areas all you want to do don't wash your brush off just pick up a little bit of white and you can add some highlights wherever you want to see them and 
and that just gives it a lot more detail so it's not just like really plain yellow and then one thing I'm also going to do um, I'm gonna go back into the bloom so remember that little detail we did this time I'm gonna take my pinky finger because I want this to be even smaller take a little bit of white and right in the middle of where we first did that little circle there I'm gonna add that right in the middle because I want it to be wider now if yours is still not dry don't do it until yours is actually dry because you want that white to stand out a bit now that we've done that I'm gonna move back up into the eyes because although his eyes are red they do have a little bit of a yellow tint to them as well he looks pretty crazy he's a he's a crazy clown so we want to make sure that we make him look crazy and spooky and very Halloweenish. Um, so I am actually going to go into that kind of yellow brown mixture that we were using originally for G Georgie's coat. And if you don't have any more, again, just mix some yellow and a little bit of brown. And I am going to lightly tap that yellow on top of the red. And if it's still wet, that's completely fine because you want this to blend in. So I'm just tapping that yellow right on the red. Perfect. Now I am going to go in and I want to get everything else filled in with black except for um, the larger part of his eyes that I'm not going to be filling in with black, but I do want to get everything else filled in with black So I am going to go back to my round brush that medium round brush or a smaller round brush is completely up to you and I want to go like around his eye area and for this part, it's kind of like the gray that we did. It doesn't have to be like just straight lines. You can kind of like brush it out um, so that it looks a little more smeared almost. But before I actually do that part, I'm gonna fill in his pupils with black. So that smallest circle, I'm getting that filled in with black. And then around there, I am going to kind of brush on some black around that outline. And wherever you feel like it's harsh, you can even take your finger and kind of just smudge it out, really make it look spooky and like you know, a smoked out eye. So again, wherever you do the black outline around his eye, I'm just going to smudge that out with my finger. So you get that really nice smudged out look. I'm doing the same thing over here. already there dry a little bit so while that's drying all I'm gonna do is outline everything else so I'm outlining um, my balloon and outlining Georgie with a really small brush and black paint Okay, so once you finish up um, outlining Georgie and outlining the bloom, I am going to go back in. Again, I'm going back on top of that darker red. 
So now, this time I am going in with just red by itself, still using my medium round brush. And I'm going right back over. Kind of focusing on staying in the middle though. Like I'm not feeling going over it completely. I'm kind of just pulling a red line down the middle. tip of the brush and I'm going to go right down the middle so I'm making sure I'm not spreading this all the way out just going right down the middle same thing here and now I want to actually go ahead and fill in his eyebrows so of course his little clown brows are just black so I am picking up black by itself and I'm still using the round brush and when I get towards the end I'm almost gonna do pretty much doing the same thing I did here so flattening your brush and then letting it up when you are ready for it to come to that kind of pointed end. Same thing here. Now, once you have all of that filled in you have the eyes how you want it if there's anything you want to go back and add or anything else you feel like you want to add in the eyes or anything like that it's completely up to you but what I am going to do to finish up and what you also want to do once you finish up with any extra details is you want to take your smallest brush and I am going to sign my initials in red and then you are all finished Thank you all so much for painting with me. I hope you enjoy creating your Halloween It Inspired painting. Um, as always, make sure you leave down your suggestions in the comments. That way we can do some more paintings together and paint some things that you all would like to hang in your home or just have a fun night painting. So make sure you leave those suggestions. And if you would like to know the materials that I use, Remember, everything is always down in the description. Or if you would like all of the materials um, and you just want it prepackaged, I do have prepackaged kits on my website, paintpartydet.com, where you can purchase kits like this and many others that include everything that I use. Um, so, as always, thank you all for painting with me, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.